Hello there, subscribers. Just before I came back to college, I finished the book Twilight by Stephanie Meyer as per my punishment given to me by Jethro. His YouTube link can be found right here. And now that I'm all settled into the new place, I figured I should take some time to tell you all what I thought of the book. I'm going to warn you right now that this review is going to be intensely spoilerific, so if you don't want to know anything about the book, and frankly, I don't blame you, you should turn this video off right now. Okay, so there's this girl named Bella that we meet as she is moving away from her hometown in Phoenix, Arizona, which she loves, to go live in a small town called Forks, Washington with her father, which she hates. Now why is she moving to a town she hates? Well, essentially she doesn't want her mother's life to be so centered around her. Isn't that what a mother's life is supposed to be centered around? Her children? Whatever. So she moved to this town and she absolutely hates it there. Why? Well, because her father is loving, supportive, and appreciative of her. No, wait, that's a good thing. Maybe it's because her classmates are really nice to her and accept her immediately. No, that's another good thing. Oh yeah, I remember. She's miserable because it rains a lot. Well, that's totally reasonable. So because Bella has made this huge sacrifice by moving to this town where she's basically treated like a god, she feels that she has the right to complain to the reader incessantly. Dear God, if she complained to the other characters in this book as much as she complains to the reader, they'd be a lot less inclined to treat her so nicely. So the thing that she complains the most about is that there's this boy named Edward Cullen who confuses her. Oh Bella, you're so tortured. A boy is confusing you? You must be the first girl who's ever had to deal with that problem. Truly, you are a unique and interesting character. Okay, so one of the defining things about Bella is that she's really, really accident prone, and at one point she has this car skidding across a wet parking lot towards her and there's no way for her to get out of the way in time. And just when this glorious plot device is about to finally make Bella quit her whining forever, it's Edward Cullen to the rescue! He clears the parking lot in the blink of an eye and jumps in front of Bella and shields her with his body and basically stops this car with his bare hands. And throughout this whole process of flirting and doing some research, Bella finds out that Edward is in fact a vampire. You know, people always talk about Edward Cullen being a huge stalker but honestly, Bella stalks him a lot too. So a bunch of really boring, creepy, pseudo-romantic stuff happens, including Edward talking about how easily he could kill Bella if he wanted to. Okay, that's creepy. Edward talking about how delicious Bella smells. Okay, that's really creepy. And Edward showing Bella that he does not in fact burn up in the sunlight, but he sparkles like diamonds. Now that's just stupid! So later in the book, Bella has met Edward's family and she goes with them to watch them play baseball in a thunderstorm. And some evil vampires show up and they want to eat Bella. This results in a standoff between Edward Cullen's family and the evil vampires. Oh sweet, finally some action! So what happens? They run away. God damn it. So they run away and they keep running away. Stephanie Meyer, this is not exciting! So finally the evil vampire catches Bella and there's a fight scene. But we don't get to see that exciting fight scene because Bella is unconscious and she's our narrator! Eventually she wakes up in the hospital and Edward and her go to prom and Edward talks about how he's not gonna turn Bella into a vampire. Dear God, that was excruciating! I have read some bad books in my time, but this was just awful. Anytime something interesting starts to happen, the story goes away from it and talks about how beautiful Edward's eyes are instead. It's like the book was afraid of being interesting. I truly, truly, truly feel punished. If anyone out there is thinking about reading this book, don't bother. You are not missing anything. See you later.